everyone. So we've been learning about John. We've been learning about Jesus. When he got left at the temple, we've been learning about how John went into the wilderness to tell people about Jesus is coming. And then today, Jesus is going to walk into the wilderness to see John. Let's see what happens in the story today. This story that we're here reading about today is found in all four of the gospels. So if you ever want to hear it, ask your mommy and daddy if they can pull up any four of the gospels and they can, you can find the story there. So this is our story. Look, there's Jesus, there's John, there's a fish that's smiling at Jesus. One day, Jesus went to see John the Baptist. John was preaching and baptizing people in the Jordan River. John told people, Turn away from doing bad things because the savior of the world was coming. Jesus asked John to baptize him. John knew that Jesus was the savior of the world. That's some heavy stuff. John said, I am not good enough to tie your shoes. Why do you ask me to baptize you? Jesus said, It's okay, John. This is what you need to do. So John and Jesus waded out into the water. That just means they walked out into the water. After John baptized Jesus, a dove flew down and landed on Jesus to show that God was with him. A voice from heaven said, This is my son. I am pleased with him. We're gonna go find Miss Samantha. I think she's around here somewhere. When I got here today, I couldn't find her. So let's go see if we can find Miss Samantha and I'll be right back. Miss Samantha, hello. Hello. Sorry, I was lost. I'm glad you did the story without me. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys learn a lot? Okay, so I have a lot of questions. Well, the first question is Jesus knew that that was his cousin John out there preaching the gospel um, to say repent from your sins and the kingdom of God is coming. That means Jesus was coming, the savior of the world. Jesus asked John to baptize him. John said, no, I can't even tie your sandals. And that was just because John knew that Jesus was special. He was the son of God, the savior of the world. And John was just a guy. I mean, God did choose him to be the voice in the wilderness, but still, he wasn't God. So I understand John, but then Jesus said, no, you have to baptize me. So what is this? Why did Jesus have to get baptized? Jesus was the example that he was showing us that we need to be baptized. Why so, do we need to be baptized? Because it is a picture of what God has done for us. So even though John had made mistakes, he had sin because he was a human and he knew Jesus was perfect because he's God. It must have been so weird and maybe scary to be the one baptizing him. But Jesus said he had to. It was obedience. Jesus was listening to God, his father, and John was listening to Jesus. And then the weird part was when Jesus went in the water, splash, splash, and then was coming up out of the water. When he got out of the water, the heavens opened. What do you mean it opened? That's crazy. And then out of the heavens was a spirit. And it was like a dove. What would you do if you saw a spirit like a bird come from heaven? I don't know. I'd probably be in shock. I'd just stand there. And then afterwards, ask all my friends what happened. But it was such a beautiful picture because the God that we worship and serve and love is the voice that was in the heavens and the dove that was flying down to Jesus and it was Jesus. All of that was a picture of who God is. The three persons and the one God. Okay, that was a lot in one little story, but let's learn our verse. It is found in the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 10. As Jesus was coming out of the water, he saw heaven open, and the Spirit came down like a dove. Let's say that together. Mark 1, verse 10. Mark 1, verse 10. As Jesus was coming out of the water, As Jesus was coming out of the water, He saw heaven open. He saw heaven open. And the spirit came down like a dove. And the spirit came down like a dove. Wow, such a beautiful picture. Let's say it again. Mark 1, chapter... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Mark 1, verse 10. Mark 1, verse 10. As Jesus was coming out of the water... As Jesus was coming out of the water... He saw heaven open. He saw heaven open. 
And the spirit came down like a dove. And the spirit came down like a dove. Do you think we can do it one more time? We're gonna do big chunks of words. You ready? You ready? I'm do ready. Let's do it. Mark 1, verse 10. Mark 1, verse 10. As Jesus was coming out of the water. As Jesus was coming out of the water. He saw heaven open and the spirit came down like a dove. He saw heaven open and the spirit came down like a dove. So you can remember this verse to remember the beautiful picture of who God is. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Well, thanks for coming to today's story time. We'll see you next week. Bye.